What's up channel? Welcome back to LIFM. We're going to be doing another game of EDH here in MTGO. I am going to be playing my Rafik deck and I'm facing Voril. We're going to keep this hand. Our opponent's mulligan into 6. He's keeping it 6. We're a little light on lands, but um... We'll see if we can make this work. The only reason I didn't fetch right away is in case he played a a strip mine or something like that on his turn. That's pretty much the only reason. And I accidentally skipped end of his turn. So we'll take two here. Just to land a creature second turn. about that right now. We will, however, be swinging for three. And since I'm not um, worried about board wipes or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and land Janara and pass the turn back to him. This is where we don't tap out anymore, I think. Because we want to be able to get rid of this as soon as possible when it comes out. So we'll swing 4-4 four, four with Janara. Just pass it back to him. We have one mana up, so we can destroy this if he tries to equip it. It's looking pretty decent for us right now. He has four cards in hand, which is what we want to see. We'll land the sledge and we'll swing after. I don't want to overextend. That's the only reason I'm not playing another creature right now. And uh, unless he does something, Janara will kill him. It'll take a while, but she will kill him unless he does something. So, like I said, not going to overextend right now. Acidic Slime, 
sure probably going to be taking the sledge out or my white line I don't know we'll see either way I'm not too worried about a 6 line it doesn't fly and if he takes out a uh, swift foot boot I'll equip the sledge and if he takes out the sledge then we're just where we are, were in the beginning anyways and if he takes out neither all the better for us we don't have any green mana anymore but um, I think we'll be okay So again, we'll swing with Gennaro. Any damage he does on his turn, this pretty much just makes that not relevant at all at this point. And we'll play a land for the turn and just pass it back to him. That is a lot of mana. We'll see what he puts out here. If uh, if it doesn't destroy or screw up our board, then we won't. We probably won't tap out for the rest of the game, and just keep Mystic Stink mana open. Actually, sure, that's fine. Very interesting that he chose to destroy the Swift of Boots instead of the Sledge, but we're okay with that he's obviously trying to keep us off green mana this is actually pretty good right now because every single card in our hand costs green so maybe he does know what he's doing That's not cool. Okay, so he wants to fight here, probably with Acidic Slime, to prevent me from being able to attack. But I'm, I'm willing to put Kuzali Pride's Mage out if he chooses to go that route. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Actually. The reason I chose to let it go was because I wanted Acidic Slime gone. If I chose to sack it and get rid of this, then Acidic Slime would stay on the field and he'd do it again with her later. So if he wants to get rid of her, let him have to work for it. And the re if anyone's wondering, the reason why I haven't pumped her up at the end of any of the turns is because I actually had the end of the turn unclicked before, but I, I selected it now. Okay, two cards in hand. Let's see what he has for us. Hopefully it's nothing too ridiculous. Um, Sure, we can live with that.
obviously we're having some mana problems here, specifically green mana. The plan here is to win before that becomes relevant. She does six. Even if I pump her, I can't change the clock at this point. Okay, that is definitely a thing. Let's pass it back to him then. Now I definitely need green mana. Wow, this hand is looking really, really bad at this point. And this is the kind of thing I don't want to see coming out. Of course, if I get green mana, I can deal with it. Okay, so I got the green mana unfortunately comes into play tapped so it's not very useful right now So here we go. Wow. Wow. So we can't afford to take this guy more than once. Right now his deck's getting to do what it what it wants to be doing. Uh realistically we can't do anything here, we just have to pass the turn back to him. Let's see what he does here. <laughs> it's 163 power and toughness. That's um that's crazy. So he chose to put everything on the line uh, on that card and um this is the result. Let's see if we can draw something to get us back into the game at this point. Uh, wood Elves, sure, because I need the mana. Honestly, I actually do need the mana. The green mana to be more specific. And I will equip the Wood Elf with Pro Green and Pro Blue, which is his entire deck and just pass it back to him. Hopefully he doesn't draw anything too good. Mm, that's not a problem right now. It's indestructible, but that's it.
None of these creatures can block wood elves. Um, one, two, three. Sure. I am going to exile the Myogen, because why not? It also gives my, uh, what else, Cascade, when, uh, um, Exalted when it attacks, which is fine by me. And we have three mana untapped. All I'm going to do is equip this and pass the turn. No creatures, no nothing. That's it. Because he's, uh, he's just top decking right now. He has to draw a, a relevant card. So he drew a land. That's not relevant right now. see him having many options at this point he can use arena to try to fight but uh he's not gonna get much out of it yeah he's saying good game so we're in trouble for a little bit there till we actually join out of the green land and that was uh, a lot closer than i wanted it to be anyways thanks for watching